guys let's have a look at window pane today and this is by Opev and uh, yeah you can either just you know, read the tabs and follow my playthrough that I just did or if you want more help more explanation welcome to this second longer part of the video so for this we gonna use like capo on the second thread okay so um, in the tab whenever you see uh, zero that means well, open string but this on the second thread actually right and uh, so everything all the numbers are relative to the second thread so if you see a uh, number four that's four threads above the capo right so six thread but yeah it's four thread above the capo I think you know that stuff so but anyway uh, so I have four slides for this uh, prepared and uh, I don't think I have to go through every single section of the song. Uh, I uh, I show the, the main riffs and where they are, they are played and how many times you play them. And I think you should, you'll be able to figure out and play the whole song on your own after that. I am not covering the guitar solos here. Uh, if you want solos transcribed later on for me, uh, leave some comments and see if there is any interest. But for now, let's do the first intro riff. It's basically this, right? I should play over and over. So we have like a nice E minor add 9 chord. And it's actually F sharp minor because we have the capo here. But anyway, yes, I. Um, So you're gonna appreciate it like this, so you're gonna do a uh, thumb hitting the E string, open string, uh, your uh, index finger hitting the A string, okay? And then you're gonna hit both uh, T and G string with your other two fingers, ring and index finger, okay? So... And the... Uh, so what we're doing there at the very end there um, so you're gonna have a very quick 16 note pattern here going on starting on um, second on A and then uh, open E and then quick hammer on from open A to second fret on A okay so it's not a slide like uh, I've seen some people do but it's actually like a hammer on and then you're gonna do open D and G and then open D hammer on the 2nd fret okay so okay uh, kind of like that um, 
it's a bit tricky rhythmically maybe, but you know, it's all 16 notes more or less. Uh, so uh, just the quick hammer on counts as a one 16 notes. Okay, so it's not like oh, going to second fret two notes. It's like a quick hammer on one 16 note. Okay, the second hammer on is two notes, obviously. So. Um, okay, it's a bit slower. The whole thing. So, and you play that riff eight times for the intro, um, eight times for those two bars, so like 16 times basically for the same riff. And then for the first guitar solo, you play that riff again four times, and then before the final verse, uh, at the end of the song, you play this five times. Uh, so, yeah, it occurs many times in the song. Um, then here, I'm gonna do the verse riff and pre solo riff. Um, and now we're gonna hold uh, another add 9 chord, just like B add 9 chord. And you're gonna have just another B or C sharp because we have the capo, but anyway, let's say it's B and E, is like, which is like a sus4, uh, so it's like a add 9 sus4 chord, or I know what you what you wanna call it. Um, the thumb plays the A string, index finger plays on the D, and then uh, middle finger on G and ring finger on B strings for the first uh, seven notes. Like this, okay? And then move your right hand like one string step higher, um, or I mean higher, or towards the, the floor. <laughs> And then you're gonna do uh, basically use the fingers like this. So, a ring finger on E now, and middle finger on B, and index finger on G. And you play. Okay. And then you go back to the old ways and play the final four notes. Okay, so again, a bit slower. back your right hand. Okay, and that's how I play it anyway. You can play it with a pick obviously um, or use other solutions but I find it the most convenient for me. Um, okay, kind of like that. So, okay, six times for that riff in the first and second verse and they're also gonna do that riff in the final verse and they're gonna play it nine times. Um, and after they play it the ninth time, they're gonna end with the line that I'm showing in the second line here. Okay, so the first part is the same, uh, but the second bar is a bit different there. Like that. So remember that for the ending, okay? Now we come to the interlude riff, and the, this riff takes part like in most of the middle of the song, okay? So they play it after the second verse three times, and then they, there is like a little uh, uh, part when they sing a lullaby or something, I don't remember the lyrics, but that riff is played there as well, and then. Uh, and then the, it's played again after that little uh, yeah, interlude uh, with some other guitar soloing going on, I think. Uh, you can call it solo. Uh, okay, so, so basically you play this riff three times in total, okay? And it goes like this. That's the first line. Uh, so basically you have a bit slower. Right. 
so here you some place the EMA strings, right? And I basically do an index finger on G and middle finger on B. And uh, yeah, I can guess I can play it a little slower. So what we're doing there, by the way, in the middle of the second bar, that's another quick hammer on from A to open A to first fret. Okay. Otherwise, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of straightforward, maybe, but the rhythm may be a bit little tricky. So get used to the rhythm. Uh, I mean, when to pick the notes. Right? So two times for this first line, and then the second line is kind of almost the same. You, you move the whole thing one fret higher up. And then you will move back to the first line. Um, so in the second line you only play on the E string, the bass notes, alright? Uh, you don't play anything on the A string. Uh, otherwise the rhythm is the same everything all the way so and yeah after the second line you go back to the first line right and play it once so and then you go back and uh, to the first line <laughs> couple of final riffs, uh, that one is a bit uh, more um, animated, the first riff here, and this is played right after the interval riff. Okay, so uh, here I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna use my thumb on E and A strings. Uh, whenever I need them, and uh, I'm gonna use my index finger on D and middle finger on G strings, okay? And uh, if you play it slowly, one more time, maybe a bit slower. played eight times already and after that we're gonna have another interlude and the final little guitar solo that's four times on that riff and that's a good line there is some bass guitar doing some nice little bass runs again uh, as well um, which we cannot really do here uh, maybe but uh, I picked up I looked at the live recordings and I looked at what how they played live because that's maybe the most relevant for us um, and I think that's what they play basically so I'm gonna have this little chord here That's not too complicated, uh, I think finger-wise, but maybe the rhythm is a little <laughs> tricky. Okay, so that's the first two bars. The next two bars are quite simple, I think. Uh, So uh, 
for the first two bars, uh, maybe I should mention that I use my thumb mm -hmm. on the E string and I use my other three fingers on those e, D, uh, A, D and G strings. Right? So it's like... Like that. Right, and so right after this uh, riff, you're gonna do, uh, as I mentioned on the first and second slides, you're gonna play the intro riff again five times, and then you're gonna play the verse riff nine times, uh, with that ending that I showed you on slide two, um, and that will end the song. So that's window pane, guys. Have fun with that.